Welcome students. In this video, we will try to understand how we will be installing the VS Code. So let's start. First, I need to download the VS Code. So I'm starting Chrome. What are the VS Code? Is a Visual Studio Code. Is a tool which is provided by Microsoft. A good IDE for developing the various types of uh, projects in various languages. So here I will be just going for a VS Code. Download. So this is the website which help you to go for downloading the Visual Studio Code. You have to decide which operating system you are using. Depending on that, you will be using the installation. Uh, so I just downloaded for Windows 8, 9, and 11. So fine. So this is the Visual Studio setup which is getting downloaded. Once it will get downloaded, you have to start the installation process. It is quite easy and quick. So I had given a click over here. It starts the Visual Studio Code installation. Accept the agreement. Give a click on Next. Decide in which folder you would like to install the Visual Studio Code. Give a click on Next. If you want to create a startup menu option, then you can decide. Otherwise, specify don't create a startup menu folder. I want to create it. If you want to create a desktop icon, you can select this option and then give a click on Next. Further, give a click on Install. It will take another 3-4 minutes to you for completing the installation of the Visual Studio Code. This depends on the performance of your machine as well the performance on internet. So once the VS Code has been downloaded, VS Code has been installed, then we need to know how to go for starting the Visual Studio Code. So on a desktop you will find the icon has been created called as Visual Studio Code. So I double click on this particular icon and this starts the VS Code. Right, it displays me a welcome stream, etc. Okay, some few files have been already created by me. I just closed it. I would like to now close this particular folder. I would like to start the VS Code in some another folder. It's not an issue. You can do the same by closing the Visual Studio Code. Go to the command prompt. Decide which folder you want. It should be containing all the source code of yours. Suppose I am trying to go for a D drive. In that I am creating one folder by saying md test vs code and then shifting to a drive called as a test vs code sorry not test uh, travel it is test laravel it is called as test vs code and now I can just type a command called as a code dot this will be launching the visual studio code with the folder called as test vs code. So in any particular folder you want it should be active folder for your project in VS Code. Just do a simple task in the command prompt. Go to that particular folder and type a command called as code dot. Otherwise it is possible for you to go to file and select open folder and decide which folder to be open. So two techniques are there. So I would like to create a small HTML page in this particular folder. Quite easy. Give a click on new file. Decide the name of the HTML file. Give an extension to it. Now I want it should be HTML5 uh, page. So I'm just typing over HTML, HTML5, pressing enter. Basic structure has been created for you. You can decide some contained like you can type the code as H1 and type it as welcome to VS Code, C-O-M-E, to VS Code. And I just save the file. You can see very well over here the file has been saved. Any changes made by you. It shows a dot over here that file is been saved and after saving some changes are been made. So you can resave the file. And for running the page it's quite easy. You can just give a right click select copy path. And uh, paste the path in your browser. Fine. So this is the simple way by which you can create the HTML page. We are using the VS Code for Angular project. We are using the VS Code for React project. We are using the VS Code for PHP project. We are using the VS Code for all other different types of open source language projects, even PHP Laravel also. Right? So this is a very, very important tool which is used in the industry for developing the variety of types of application. So you must be familiar with the Visual Studio Code. So this is what the basic way by which the Visual Studio Code is been installed. In the upcoming videos, I will be definitely explaining how we can go for developing the other types of applications by using VS Code.